<laughs> Whoa, welcome to another spooky episode on MDZ's channel. Today, we are playing a Halloween version game, really called Multiplication Mathematics. We have a witch Hello. Voice. And she just said hello, just then. Anyways, hmm, what should we do? How about we learn? Yeah, we should learn. Ooh, there's a vampire. Perfect for a Halloween edition video. Anyways, which one should we do? I heard eight was a ghost, so let's see a vampire and a ghost. What's the story of four times eight? Yeah, what is the story of that? Sees the chain of spooky eight. The I ghost. see a vampire and a ghost. He can't help trying to bite what it. What are you doing? All that spooky eight won't stand for that and tugs hard. The vampire on his just chain. bit the chain. Vamp four is And now they're and having a tug of war. Until suddenly. Oh! The chain what? breaks. Oh my gosh, his teeth, teeth fell out. The shape of a three are pulled out by what? the piece of chain in the shape what? of a two. What did that happen? Uh, 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 Four times eight is thirty-two. Anyways, what should we do next? What's the story How about of four times four five? Times five? Hmm. That thought See. isn't very good with matches. He Why is he killing he can matches? Them, but he can never do it. Uh, that's kind of weird. Suddenly, flaming five arrives. <sighs> Oh, it's, a, it's an orange dragon. It's the dragon's tail. What are you going to do? Oh, poor dragon. He breathes out an enormous flame in the shape of a two. At last, Whoa, Mr. Bamford's pumpkin. pumpkin, which is in the shape of a zero, is finally alight. Four so, times uh, five is twenty. Four times five is twenty. Oh, uh, yeah, four times five is twenty. Let's Remember do four times trick. three. Wait. You only have to memorize I mean, the three stories times four. that start with the smallest number. So just number. start with the smallest number. What's the story of three times four? Three can stand oh is a gosh, bit scared of Van Ford's bite. Statue meeting a vampire. And one day he does bite his head. <laughs> See, three vampires like to bite things. Up an end. They like to bite things a lot. Comes completely so, unstuck. um... What? His head just fell off. On Vampfor's head. Oh, that must... One of what the vampire's it? own hair sticks yeah, up straight. Yeah, that's the shape of what... His hair just so stuck up. Three can sign, pulls Are out you this mad? And throws it away. Number three. Oh, he just pulled the it out. The ah, there we go. So one, the answer's the 12. Is three times four three is times 12. Four is 12. Three times four is 12. Even though I just said that. Anyways... What should we do now? Let's do two vampires. What's the story of four times four. Four times four. Mr. Vampfor wants some fresh blood. He wants some blood. He pretends to fall over. So he's just pretending to fall over just Mrs. so he Vampfor can get blood. comes to his aid with her nurse's equipment. It's a nurse. And with a fresh bag of blood. Oh my gosh, that's a six There's blood. There's nothing like a little snack to bring you back to health. I'm going to have a straw. Mr. Vampfor brings it's in the shape a of a one. In the shape of a one. So now sip from the bag of blood, which is now what does he six. do? Drink up. Oh, it's 16. Four, four times four, four is 16. Is 16. Mm. So now, which one should we do? Let's do two, four times two. I mean, two times four because it starts with a small number. Can we skip, just skip that cut scene? Let's see. Remember my. Yes, What's we can. What's the story of two times What's four? What's the story of two, two times four? Squeaks, sees Vamp Four disguised it's as a mouse. As in the two. She is not so sure. So. But a gust of wind. What? Whoa. Blows what? Away his false it's a vampire, not a mouse. mouse. And the imposter is revealed. Let's see. Two times two four times is, four is eight. eight. So. Hmm, I heard there was quizzes in this game, so let's go back. Let's see. Let's do a ghost one. Eight. Eight times ten is eighty. I know times tables, by the way. I know them a lot. 
8 times 1 is 8. And so we continue on. So 8 times 6 is 48. And then what do we do? And then 8 times 7 is 56. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So 8 times 3 is 24. <laughs> so uh, 8 times 2 is 16. We all get one point for that one. 8 times 9 is 72. Mm. So now we need 8 times 4 is 32. 32, not 36. Sorry, I got confused then. 8 times 5 is 40. Why is that 8 but with a big head? 8 times 8 is 64. So I guess 8 has a sun. Mm -hmm. Pretty interesting. 8 times 2 is 16. We just saw that one. I feel like it repeats some of these now. So 8 times 9 is 72. I mean, 8 times 10 is 80, so that's done. So, 8 times 1 is 8, so we're going to do that. And I feel like when the broom is full, it should be done. Okay, 8 times 3, trying to trick us with not giving us the characters, but you're not tricking me. We have got 4 points for that. 8 times 2 is 16. I am so good at maths because I am the MDZ TV. So, 8 times 9 is 72. Eight times five is forty. So that gives us another two points. We almost filled up the room. Eight times six is forty-eight. Oh, one more question. Eight times one is eight. So that ends up filling up the room. We have golden ghosts, by the way. They're all golden. See. Really, really golden. Anyways, we got 20 out of 20. I feel like that's the end of the video, so thank you guys for watching, and until next time, MDZ out. Have a happy Halloween!